To begin, I'm going to start by concealing my brows. I'm using the Elegant Pro Concealing Shade Fawn. The brush that I'm using is the Color 513 Concealer Brush. And later on, I'm going to conceal the top of my brows using the Elegant Pro Concealer again, but in the shade Espresso. So now that I have my brows completed, I'm going to move on to priming my lids. For that, I use the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Color 2. And I'm just applying this all over my lids and blending it out. So for my eyeshadow it's really simple, all I use were two shades from the Morphe 35N palette. First starting with this dark brown shade and I'm applying this all over my lid and then I'm going to be blending that up into the crease area. Then the next shade I'm going to be going in with is a reddish brown transition shade also from the 35N palette. I'm just blending that right above the first shade. And when I have that applied, I went back into the dark brown shade that I used initially and just ensure that the both shades blend well together and that was basically it for the eyeshadow. Here I'm just applying some highlights to the inner corner of my eyes and this is from the Bromelan in MUA Highlighter Palette and the shade that I'm using is the deepest shade which is called Melanin. Moving on I'm just doing a simple wing eyeliner using the Sephora Matte Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. Moving on to apply my eyelashes, these are the crystal lashes in the style orgasm. Moving on to the moisturizer my face, I use the Himalaya Oil Free Moisturizer. To prime my face, I use the Black Radiant Stoning and Long Lasting Primer. So I'm just applying this all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with a brush and blend it up. I 
For foundation, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in shade 520 Sienna and I'm just applying this using a small concealer brush and then I'm going to go in with a blending sponge to blend this all out. To contour my face, I use the Juvel's Face Shade Stick in the Shade Congo and I just apply this um, to the holes of my cheek, around my forehead and the sides of my nose. And the next product I'm going in with is the Juvel's, not the Juvel's, it's the P. Louise base in the shade OTT Orange and I like to mix this with the shade stick because the shade Congo is very dark and cool tone for me so mixing this just warms it up and gives me a better color so I'm just moving on to blending out these two Yeah, I'm just going in with the e.l.f. Camo Camouflage Concealer in shade Deep Olive and I'm going to be using this to highlight my face so I apply that to my under eyes down the bridge of my nose and then I went in with a sponge to blend all of that out. Moving on to setting my face, I'm starting by setting my highlighted areas using the Juvia Space I Am Magic Setting Powder in shade Gobi on a cosmetic wedge. For the other areas of my face that I didn't set with the Jurel's Face Powder, I'm going to be using the Sasha Cosmetics Press Powder in shade 255 to set those areas. Moving on to bronzing my face, I use the Jurel's Place Bronzer during the shade Dark. And I use the darker shade for my cheeks and then I use the lighter shade for my forehead as well as my nose. Then for my blush, I use the Colored Rain Highlight and Blush in the shade Damage Control. So I'm just using the blush to apply some color to my cheek. Moving back to my eyes, I line my waterline using the Juvia's Face Mirror and Eyeliner in shade Cadwell. I then went in with the dark brown shade that I used on my lid from the Morphe 35 N palette to blend out my lower lash line and then I here I'm just blending away all of the excess powder. Spray 
sprayed my face using some Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray. To highlight my face, I went in with the Brown Melanin Makeup Highlighter Palette and I used the shade Melanin which is the deepest shade which is also the shade that I used earlier in the inner corners of my eyes. I applied this to the high point of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid bow and also a bit on my brow bone. To complete this look, I am doing a very bold pink lip using Color Doing Liquid Lipsticks. So the first shade that I went in with is called Roulette, which is this deep vampy shade. And I am using this to outline my lips. And then after I have my lips outlined, the next shade I am going to be going in with is called Oolala, which is a very vibrant pink lip. And that would be the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you all will give this a thumb up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below, share, subscribe, and subscribe. Please turn on post notifications. Also, if you all are interested in seeing how I did my hair, I did that in my previous video. So please also check that out. All of the products and stuff that i use in this look will be down in my description box so please be sure to check that out thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video